and hear me say that is what. Good evening. My name is Abu Bronco Sia Kufi Yesu again. And today I'm at your home. I want to have a conversation with you. This time the world is bleeding. The world is bleeding because of an a satanic behavior that all of us are putting on ourselves. It's a war that is going on, but as human beings, we don't realize it. And it is the dangerous thing ever. And it is causing us our peace. Somebody will say, what, what is he talking about? Yes, what I'm talking about is racism, tribalism, differentiations. I am this, I am that. It's killing the whole world. But I want you to understand that we have somebody we call God, the creator of heaven and earth. He is the person that created everything, whether you like it or not. We have a high power somewhere. And so discrimination and racism is killing the whole world. There is a saying that, you know, we are all from the same image. We have the same God. Our differences are very few. But the way we look alike is more. We all talk from this same hole. We breathe from this same nose. We see from this same eye. We hear from this same uh, ear. Our futures are the same. There's nothing different in us. Languages, you can speak another language. Somebody can understand you. There's nobody on earth who is a half human being. It's rather unfortunate that some of us are rich than some. It's rather unfortunate that some live somewhere else and then probably we also live here. We can all not live in one house. We can all live, you know, apart from... Uh, uh, let's say we all live on one earth here in the universe but everybody has a house everybody has where they live and God is a, a creator who is so wonderful his creation you can't think about it so much because you will not understand but sometimes the human beings we are trying to uh, uh, create a differences between us this is a white guy this is a black guy and a black guy will die early because he's black, he's prone to cancer, he's prone to poverty and all that. No, it is some of us that are actually bringing down other people. It's some of us that are shielding people to get what they are supposed to get. And so because of that, people are vulnerable. The vulnerable people among us, we use racism, discrimination, tribalism to bring them all down so that we will take advantage of over them or will take advantage of them and cheat them and make riches for ourselves and then they will be poor but the thing is one day you're going to answer for this one day we are all going to answer for this and so we should try to you know minimize this discrimination and racism because it is what is killing us we are not fighting for peace. We are fighting for power. But power is a distraction. We should learn how to love one another. And so that we can get rid of this discrimination, we should love ourselves. The, the creation is so beautiful. Human or mankind is so beautiful. We understand each other. We are the better creation that God has created. And he created everything on this universe for me and you. Why are we trying that we can get everything for me alone? Why are we trying to tell somebody he is not a human being? But you cannot create anybody. It is so beautiful. I wish I am born black. I wish I am born white. I wish I am born this. It's not going to help you. Be grateful of who you are. Thank God for who he has made you to be accept whoever you know any stranger help anybody that you want to give help 
Because that is what is going to bring peace in this world. If we don't start thinking about peace and we are all the time thinking about power, we're not going to do anything but killing one another. What, what are we thinking? Are we human beings or we are animals? Look at what is happening in, in, in Ukraine. After all this, what are they going to get? They're not going to get anything. It's a distraction. It's a killing of innocent people. It's a killing of innocent you know, children who do not know anything. You know? And it's all from races. It's all from power. And so my communication with you today is that let's start from our own home. Let's, I mean, teach our children the way the children should go. Let's teach our children that whoever they see out there is also a human being. Whether he's black, yellow, green, whoever the person is. We are all human beings. We should respect one another. No matter the color that we are. No matter the situation that we are in. We need to help one another. But in the other hand, we have to think about peace. Because if you go and insult somebody, it starts from there. If you go and discriminate, it starts from there. If you go and insult somebody because he's black, if you go and insult somebody because he's white, it is going to bring a lot of confusion. And then we'll start killing one another. We are human beings that we're supposed to think. We are supposed to know what is right and know what is wrong so that we can actually make this universe or this world sweet for each and everybody. We can make it bearable for all of us so that we can live in. What are we doing? We are only killing ourselves for nothing. We are only struggling for power. When you get the whole world for yourself, what are you going to use it for? Please. My humble opinion is that let us strive for peace. Let us look for peace. Let us respect one another so that this world can actually be a good place for all of us to live in. There's not going to be, I mean, there will be poverty, yes. There will be sicknesses, yes. There will be death here and there, yes. But what can we do? We have to help one another so that each and everyone can also get a little peace for themselves so that we can get food to eat. People are throwing food away every day, but people are also dying of hunger every day. What are we doing as human beings? If you're listening to me today, and you have a situation that you can help someone, please do. If you are in a situation where you can encourage someone, please do. If you, have, you are in a situation where you need help, please ask for help. There are good people out there, but we don't have to hide everything in us. Because you don't want to talk to somebody. Let's encourage one another that we are all human beings regardless of you know where you come from regardless of your religion regardless of your color regardless of being rich or poor God loves you and so God speaks love it is the love that he wants us to love one another and because if you love one another you will not even see the color that we have we all speak one language and if we all speak the language of love which is the language of god this world is so sweet this world is so beautiful made for me and you we we cannot occupy this world let's stop talking about uh, population and that sort of thing if you're traveling to new york look at the lands that you see nobody is occupying it if we eat and there are leftovers if we go to the stores and there are certain foods that it's uh, expired and so get rotten and then we throw it away, then you should know God is in control. We shouldn't think for God. He said we should give bread and fill this earth. 
So it is not me and you that will start discriminating. We should kill these people. We should get rid of these people. We should do abortion. We should uh, do uh, uh, contraceptives and all that. Because it is God that is in control. Let's give all these things to him. All that we can do is to enjoy what he has made us to be. To enjoy this universe. To enjoy this world. The world is so beautiful. Don't underestimate yourself or any other person. Because you are loved and God loves you. My name again is Abu Bronkos Yakufi Yesu. Something that is ordained can never, never be spoiled by any means. If it is blessed by God, nothing can contract you. You will be okay. You will be good. So God bless you again. And we'll be meeting all the time. We'll be talking all the time. And, you know, let's be happy. And God will bless us. And we'll continue to be happy until one day we drop dead. And after that, there's going to be a judgment. And that is why I'm encouraging you to think about peace, to think about love. And in the other hand, God will say, once you did it for the least of these ones, you did it for me. Come into my glory. Come into my kingdom. And let us enjoy it together. God bless you. And we'll talk again. Bye-bye. Kofi Yesu. -bye.